Hi everybody, it's Tom from FindTheBestCarPrice.com. This is the 2023 Hyundai Elantra. And today we're filming inside because, well, it's re really windy outside. And so if I didn't do that, you might complain about the wind. It would be poor audio quality. So we're going to take a look at the 2023 Hyundai Elantra and tell you what the cargo capacity is. Normally you would hear that it's 14.2 cubic feet. And if you wonder what exactly is a cubic foot, well, the size of a basketball, that's what a cubic foot is. But I'm going to give you the cubic feet or the cargo capacity in inches to make it easier to understand. Now, this is a little bit more challenging than the SUVs we often feature here. But if you go from the bottom of the trunk, the opening right here, and look at your total width or opening space, I should say, you're looking at roughly 13 inches in height. And when it comes to the overall depth, we're looking at 42 inches. And width wise, well, it's going to be kind of hard to tell, but I'm going to tell you what it is because you can't see it real. We're looking at, and it's going to be a little bit hard to see it, but trust me, we're looking at 55 inches of width. Now there is one other way that you can change how much cargo you can fit in here lengthwise, and that is to pull on these releases back here. These are how you put the rear seats down, and that's an even better way to maximize cargo capacity because you do have quite a bit left. And this one's even harder to see, but it's 67 inches total. And let me see if I can get you a good measurement on the opening right there for the seats in case you're curious to see what you can fit into that area width and height wise. Okay, here as far as the height goes, we're looking at an opening of 15 inches and the width is going to be 37 inches. And there you have it, your cargo capacity given in inches for the 2023 Hyundai Elantra. Hopefully that helps you out to have a little bit better understanding of how much cargo capacity actually exists in one of these sedans. To learn more about the model in today's video, visit the link in the description for a detailed comparison between trims and pricing for the vehicle we featured or any vehicle you may be interested in. These pages feature information such as our recommended trim level based on price, value, and features. Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. We look forward to seeing you next time.